So what have I got? I've got here a DROC adjustable battery charger. It's a DROC numerical control voltage regulator. It takes in from 8 to 60 volts and it puts out between 10 and 120 volts in DC. So what's that good for? Well, I have an e-bike shop. So anytime I get a battery that's an unusual number of cells, any 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I can adjust the voltage here and charge it. It's also great if you have to charge up your electric bike battery from a 12 volt battery, like a car battery, because you're stuck in the field somewhere. This guy will do it. It's also great if you want to undercharge your battery a little bit to double or triple the life of it. It's real simple. All you gotta do is push a few, ta few tabs here. It's pretty darn close to the wonderful Satiator technology made by Grin Cyclery. Furthermore, it's a CCCV charger. Huh? What's CCCV mean and why is it important? Okay, I'll show you. All lithium ion and lead acid batteries charge on a CCCV charger. So, what does that mean? Well, CC stands for constant current and CV stands for constant voltage. So when your charger first starts charging, it puts out a constant current. Essentially, it puts out as much power as it's got. If it's a 100 watt charger, it's putting out 100 watts, 300 watts, 300 watts of power. Because the voltage is down here, the voltage is low. But as it keeps putting in current and time goes by, the voltage increases until finally they intersect. And what this means is that your battery is now at its fully charged voltage. If the charger kept on putting out as much current, it would keep pushing the voltage up. So what happens instead is the charger starts backing off the current, keeping the voltage constant. So it starts out in constant current mode, and at this intersection, it switches to constant voltage mode. Finally, you can see the current keeps dropping because essentially the voltage becomes easier and easier and easier to keep at the charge voltage until finally the amount of current that it takes to keep this battery at the fully charged voltage becomes something like two or three percent of the capacity of the charger and the charger says hey I'm not doing any work I'm just gonna shut off and it shuts off and the light comes on and your battery is charged this is a drawing of the display on the DROC. This is the uh, LED display where the voltage and current is shown. These are some toggle switches down below. And this red is, comes on when power is coming out. The yellow comes on during the constant current phase. And the green comes on during the constant voltage phase. So here's the DROC. Here's the display. Here's these four buttons down here and they're hard to see but right along here are the three lights red yellow and green so when you turn it on this will light up when you're first turning on it'll display 20 volts and um, you'll toggle this just by pushing it and it'll display about five amps so let's do, you would toggle back to volts and you would set your volts up or down depending on which way you wanted to go and then you would go back here and toggle this again and you switch to amps and uh, this will put up out about 15 amps or 900 watts if your power supply will do that. Um, so let's just say you set it at two or three amps and you toggle that up or down here and when you're ready to go you push run. Well first of all the red light will come on showing that power is going out. If your battery's flat you'll see the constant current light come on and after a while when it hits that plateau you'll switch to constant voltage mode and this will come on. Okay so let's Take a look at how this is set up. I'm putting out the 12 volts with a power supply. This is from an HP server. It's got these good little ends on it like this so I can easily plug in. Um, it puts out 575 watts of power. It's made by a company called W2ZO. It costs about 60 bucks. I've got a couple of them. They work really well. 575 watts, that's a lot of power cost about 60 bucks and I'm charging up a battery blocks battery this is a 6s 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the nominal charging voltage is 4 so let's make it 25 volts okay so we'll go ahead and plug this in we're plugging in the DROC of course I've got my terminals connected to the DROC and when I do we can see that it lights up 
Okay, so here we are with the drop powered up and turned on. Let's take a look. So we're putting out 20 volts and we'll toggle here between volts and amps. 20 volts and 5 amps. Hmm, because I've got a 6S, I want to make it 24 volts, so I'll toggle back to volts. I'll push the upside of this. Hold it, I'll get it maybe 25 volts. That's probably close enough. Okay, and how many amps do I want? Well, let's start out with a lot of amps. Let's start out with 5 amps. Now I'm going to push the start button over here and observe that the red light comes on, which tells me that it's working, putting out power, and the green light comes on, which tells me that we're in the constant um, voltage phase. It looks like we're switching back and forth between constant voltage and constant current. Okay, well it's working. That's really easy. So we want to get out of this mode to stop it. Just push this button. So what happens, so I just want to show you what it looks like when it's just in the constant current mode. And to do that, all I need to do is drop the amount of amps that are pushing into it. That means that it'll be have much easier time keeping the voltage down below where I've set it. Um, so let's go to the amps. I'm at 5 amps. Let's take this way down. Okay, now I'm roughly half an amp. Okay, now watch happens when I start. You can see now we're in the constant current phase. Why? Because I'm not pushing that hard. The constant, eventually this light will go out and the green light will come on when we get the constant voltage, but I'm charging it slower. You know, if you're charging a battery that's, that's hard to balance, this is really useful because you want to drop the amps way down so that BMS has got a long time to work. You know how I feel about BMSs. Um, I think that this costs 30 bucks. I have put a link to it to Amazon uh, down below. So between the power supply and this, for 90 bucks, you've got a completely adjustable uh, battery charger that'll work on just about any battery you can throw at it. You don't have to buy this power supply. If you've got an old 24, 36 volt charger, you can use this thing just as long as you're putting less voltage into it than you're taking out. This is a boost circuit. It's not a buck circuit, so it's always going to raise voltage up. But uh, hey, 12 volts and you can charge almost any battery. Hope you've enjoyed this. Bye.